Hi everybody, welcome back to CBO Wellness Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be reviewing the Vibes Only Reina 2-in-1 Vibrator. This is one of the most highly requested vibrators that you guys wanted me to review from when they originally released it back in June. If you're not familiar with the company Vibes Only, it's run by two women named Reina and Ashley and they have a podcast called Girls Gotta Eat. Highly recommend checking out their podcast. It's one of my favorites. I love listening to it every single Monday. Uh, and they recently just launched their own vibrator and um, adult toy brand called Vibes Only. So being Chill Vibes Only and CBO Wellness, I love, love, love the branding. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to review this for you guys today and let you know what I thought of it. So full transparency, I did reach out to Ashley. I've been meaning to try this vibrator for a while. Um, so I reached out and said, hey, a lot of people in my community are asking for my opinion on the vibrator. Um, and she was super, super kind and actually sent me this one as a gift to try. So I did get this gifted to me, um, but I am going to share my full, honest thoughts and opinions like I always do with you guys. But I just want to be transparent up front that I did not personally pay for this vibrator. Um, I did pay the duties though, which I will talk about if you're watching this from Canada, what to expect if you do order the vibrator. Um, and yeah. So that's a little disclaimer, and now let's get into the full review. So it comes in a box like this. The original packaging is discreet. Um, so if you don't want anybody knowing that you ordered a vibrator, they're not gonna know. When you open up the box, the vibrator is the first thing that you see. And then it comes with a little instruction manual. So if it's your first time using a vibrator, it tells you exactly how to turn it on and use it. They also have an app, which I'll talk about in a bit, um, that fully goes over like how to turn on the vibrator, how to clean the vibrator, anything that you need to know. So lots of really great information in this manual. Then it also comes with this cute little carrying pouch, which I think is adorable. Um, even if you don't want to store your vibrator in this, you can always put other things in this. It says vibes only. It has a charging cable, which is USB based. And then this cute little welcome card that says welcome to the family um, with a picture of their vibrators. They also have a QR code so you can download the app or if you want, I just searched the Vibes Only app directly in my phone's app store and was able to download it. Originally when they first launched this vibrator, you had to pay for the Vibes Only app, but now it is free um, and there is some content in there that you can access without buying a subscription. So there are some like sexy stories and informational videos as well. All right, so now onto the fun stuff. This is the vibrator, it's double-sided. So you can turn it on and there's a suction side on one end where you have, I believe, four different speeds per suction here. And then you can also turn on the other end and this is a vibrating wand. Um, and again, it has a bunch of different speeds and, and intensities. Um, so you can control it manually or if you want, you can also control it using the app. So in the app, you can choose if you want it like to be a higher suction intensity or lower and same with the vibrating. You can use one or the other. You don't have to use both at the same time, but I personally enjoyed using them together. So as I like to say with all of my vibrator reviews, when you're buying a vibrator, you really have to buy one that's gonna work for you and your body. So everybody orgasms in different ways. Everybody likes different types of sensation and touch. Some people like the suction where other people like the intense vibration. What intrigued me originally about this vibrator is that it kind of had the best of both worlds. I've learned through trying out different vibrators that I enjoy more vibration than suction. Um, I've done a review on the Womanizer, which is great, but I prefer my Monoflex vibrator wand instead. But what I will say about the suction on this guy compared to say the Womanizer, it definitely is a stronger sensation. I find with the Womanizer suction, it takes me a lot longer <laughs> to reach orgasm, which is fine. It's just more of an experience. Whereas this one, um, I orgasm a little bit quicker just because the suction is a little bit more intense and you can make it more intense through the settings as well. However, what I will say about this suctioning feeling versus the Womanizer is this has a more of a vibrating feel to it as well as sucking. So if you're someone who really only likes the suction, it might not be for you. I found it has a little bit more vibration in it, but I personally really enjoy that. Um, it definitely takes me longer to orgasm with this guy than it does with my Monoflex just because size wise it's a little bit bigger so I can surround more of my clit with it. Um, and also the pressure I think just is a little bit stronger than on this one. 
However, what I will say about the Reina is that it is truly the best of both worlds. So I don't feel comfortable putting my Monoplex um, inside me personally. It's just not a sensation I particularly enjoy, but with the Reina, I really like it. Um, so what's cool about the Reina is that yes, you can use this side or this size, but you can also fold it. So you can have one part on your clit doing the sucking and vibrating, and then you can have the other part inside of you. And that's personally how I like to use this toy the best. Um, if the toy was just the top or just the bottom, I probably wouldn't recommend this. I would get one of these guys instead, depending on what you like and the stimulation that you like to get off. But using it together is what really makes it. Another thing I wanna note is that with the app, it's hands-free. So you can turn on one of the sexy stories um, and choose the automatic button and then it's going to start to vibrate to that story along with it and it will change as it goes through the story. Originally, when I first tried their app without having the vibrator, I personally didn't love the audio porn. Um, I think the voices just kind of got to me and I thought it was a little bit silly and funny. That being said, having the toy and linking the two together was a complete game changer. So I actually really enjoyed the story. I just tried it one of the free ones. I think it was Conrad. And that was the closest experience with a vibrator that I've ever had to it feeling like sex, but also with a ton of clitoral stimulation. Um, so what's cool about the stories and the vibrator is that as the story progresses, your vibrator starts to progress as well. So the intensity of the vibration gets stronger. And I got really into the story, I think because my body was already turned on from it. So definitely would recommend trying out the app with this toy if you are going to get it. That's what I personally enjoyed the best out of it. I probably wouldn't have bought this or got it if it just came at the top and the bottom and without the app but with the app I think it's like a game changer. <laughs> I also think this would be a super fun toy to try out with a partner um, especially with the app and having your partner control it and then give them feedback as they do it that could be kind of fun. The price point of this vibrator is a bit expensive if you're in Canada. Um, I believe it's around 160 to 70 dollars Canadian plus for it to ship here I had to pay an additional $30 of duties. So you're looking at around $200 for the vibrator Canadian if you are going to purchase it. Um, obviously duties will change in different provinces, but that was my personal experience. What I will say is if you're looking for an elevated experience and you want to enjoy a new toy with your partner and you want to actually have a hands-free experience, this is a huge game changer. Um, like I said, I've never experienced something that felt so close to sex in my life. I also found that my masturbation session lasted about like 10 to 15 minutes when usually it's about one to two minutes when I do it by myself. So it really did feel like more of a self-care. I felt more in touch with my body and it was cool. It definitely changed the way I think about masturbating for sure. Again, you can use either end. You don't have to use them together. I just personally think the best bang for your buck um, and why you would buy this vibrator is to use the two together. So overall, I would recommend this if you are planning on using it with the app. The app does have a free version if you're not ready to commit to the full subscription, so you can always try it out. I think it's a great tool to use by yourself as like a self-care treatment with a vibrator. Um, I think the two parts together is what makes the toy. I wouldn't buy it just for one or the other. Um, and just be cautious that if you are shipping from a different country, there is that duty fee, so make sure you're okay with that additional spend. And of course, just be open-minded. I was someone who was first really not into the audio porn and then using it with a toy. Um, it was an experience that I really enjoyed and would recommend everybody try. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to treat yourself this holiday season, definitely would recommend checking out the Reina. I think they have a deal on right now for Black Friday. So if that's still up, take advantage of it while you can. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, please feel free to ask any questions below. I'm always happy to help or DM me on Instagram at CPO Wellness. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel and I will see you for another video shortly.